morning, everybody. Happy Friday. You did it. We're at the end of the week. So raise your cup, have a sip, and celebrate. It is, uh, yeah, it's always so good to get to the weekends, isn't it? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. So today we are going to talk about the celebration of life and what that means. So good morning, Bev. And, uh, you know, and this is just important. So I'm going to let some people kind of roll in a little bit and get here. But, um, you know, it's, uh, this one might be a little hard for me to get through, but there's a gentleman, <clears throat> his name is Bill. And as many of you know, I shared you know, one of his last wishes, and that was to meet his biological father. And we were raising money, which is great, but unfortunately, Bill transitioned earlier this week. He was able to get his wings. He was able to celebrate, able to graduate, and it's a beautiful thing. But I want to share about the celebration of life because this man, I didn't know him too well. I knew him um, from doing some readings, and but I have to tell you, to know this person is to love this man. Uh, he was so kind and so beautiful. And here is someone battling a disease that is trying to take away his joy, yet he never gave it power. He'd always smile and raise someone else's vibration and support them. So even though, you know, he's going through all of this, he took time for his kids and his family and those around him to, to give them a smile, to raise them up. And I have to be honest, we should all aim for that legacy. Maybe not aim for being the president of a company. Maybe not aim for that mansion or the fancy car that we've all really want. Maybe it's aiming to change lives through a smile, raise others through a laugh, inspire those around us by being our best. You know, because we really can have an impact on one another. And that impact can last a lifetime. You know, I can share with you that this man, he will never, ever be forgotten. Good morning, Tina. Hi, Sheena. Good morning, everybody. He will never be forgotten because he has touched so many lives. And just say to yourself, what lives have you touched? Are you getting out there? Are you sharing yourself with others? And to see his smile and his laugh, and he just had the best outlook on whatever was thrown at him and loved by his family. And, and all he cared about were the relationships he has, right? So I know we get hurt and I know um, we get a little discouraged with relationships in our own lives at times. But don't let that discourage you from pulling love into your life, from strengthening those relationships around you. Because those, those relationships are truly the most important thing we have. Truly. It is your legacy. Who will speak about you? Who will remember you? Who have you inspired? Who have you supported? Um... And just knowing that each and every one of us can reach others through the power of love. Good morning, Kelly. Thank you. Hi, Pat. So my heart really goes out to his family today. Um, I, I know, you know, this is what happens with cancer and any illness. Um, we know that there's a, a point at some point... Um, where we will lose our loved one, but we are never ready. We are never prepared. And 
we really can say, hey, I'll tell you what, if anyone deserved to graduate, it was this man. That is for sure. <laughs> he earned his wings. He really did. Um, but that doesn't take away from the loss that we can feel, the physical loss. And I'm wishing his family lots of love today. But I wanted to do this video today um, for a few reasons. One, as a reminder to all of us, um, to really get out there and shine your light and shine it bright, really. And to harbor and harness and nurture those relationships around us. Yeah, Jim, we're not promised tomorrow. We're not. And what can we do, you know? People have different personalities. Uh, people have differences. We need to just get over the differences and unite as one and celebrate that we are different. Celebrate that some of us are wacky, some of us are crazy, some of us are, you know, our own little ways. And that's what makes us beautiful and unique. But I do want to also recognize and let his family and his friends know that he touched the lives of so many people that were not immediate family, that were not immediate friends. He really had that power and that gift. And I know for me, he'll always hold a special place in my heart. And it's, it's hard to lose people. And especially people that are beautiful, you know, mean people. No, <laughs> just kidding. We don't want to lose anyone. But, you know, at least this man has left a mark that is beautiful. He has left a mark to set the standard of what we can all be when we allow love to be our first priority. So there we go. Anyhow, that is your talk of the day. You know, uh, celebrate life. Celebrate your life. Celebrate the lives of those around you. And when someone transitions, please honor and celebrate the life of that soul that has transitioned. All right? Lots of, lots of blessings to... Uh, Bill's family and his children and his, especially his wife, friends, co-workers, everyone around them. <laughs> I'm telling you, he was a beacon. I'm not kidding. Um, so I just wanted to share that and thank you guys. And uh, tonight, you know, I have the beautiful honor of delivering messages from Spirit in Orange County at Awakening. So if you're around, please come out and hang out. Uh, if you've ever been to any of these events, you truly understand how healing they are. And they, they are healing for everyone in the room. Whether the person gets a connection or not, there's a connection among the community in the room. So please, I do hope you're able to come down. It's at Awakenings and join me. And there's a two-day class this weekend if you want to develop your own gifts. Hang out with me and we'll play. Um, just want to thank you guys so much and have a beautiful weekend. Please get out there and celebrate anything that inspires you, okay? Anything. So remember to shine your light and shine it bright. I'll see you guys Monday. Bye.